Welcome friends. In this session, we will understand how to create sales funnel. Now sales funnel is a little bit lengthy topic and it is more complex because uh, there are so many factors uh, that are more as compared to lead funnel because in lead funnel, uh, we add uh, subscribers to the particular segment and then we nurture them through the email series. But in, in sales funnel, uh, it is basically a tripwire offer where you send your traffic directly to this sales page and that is basically one kind of landing page but instead of lead capture our main objective is to is to make them buy our particular product so what happens is when someone <coughs> goes to a particular sales page what they will do they will uh, enter their card information or whatever payment method they choose and they will buy your product and once they buy your product what generally happens you might have seen that people goes to thank you page okay your order is confirmed and uh, thank you for the order so and so but what we will do in the sales funnel we will send them to another product that is basically uh, correlated or fulfilling the objective of the first product they had purchased. So what will happen once they buy a particular product, they will go to the second product, which will be an upsell. So let us say if you are selling uh, the first product for $10, the second product will be maybe 15, 20, 50, 100 dollars. So that is your upsell. So once someone purchases your first product, they will go to second product and Again, instead of sending them to the thank you page, we'll again add them to one more cross sale or it may be down sale or it may be upsell. So once someone purchase first product, send them to second uh, sales page. And once they purchase the second product, send them to the third sales page. And uh, you can go on, but uh, two or three <laughs> upsells are okay. So finally, they will go to the thank you page. Now. This looks cool. Not uh, not everyone will purchase all of your products. So what will happen? So let us assume that someone purchased your first product but didn't purchase your second product. So what will happen? We will add them to our automation form that is through payment gateway. That is if the payment is successful, they will be added to a particular list. And once they are added to a particular list, then we will start the nurturing process if they have not subscribed to the second product. And in the same manner, if they purchase the second product, but didn't purchase the third product. So what we'll do, we'll add them to the second product customer list. And then we'll again nurture them through remarketing ads or through email uh, nurturing series. And then we will send them to the uh, third page for a few couple of days through the email nurturing series. And once they uh, purchase <coughs> uh, the second product, and if they didn't purchase the third product, then again, we can start the nurturing series for the same. So we have uh, some uh, example, uh, the what we say, the hypothetical example of Valentine's Day offer that we have created for this, uh, for this educational purpose. So what I'll do, I'll just open up that particular page. So this is our first sales page. You can see over here, this is our first sales page. So what will happen? Uh, let me go back to our basic funnel. So if someone purchases this product, so this is the product page that is make your love look more beautiful with lovely <coughs> this valentine so this is our product that we want to sell that is valentine's one piece dress and someone can buy here and these are the details they can buy here see the objective here is to uh, sell the particular product so reviews and then pricing and if someone purchases this product what will happen they will be added to our particular automation list or segment and at the same time, they will go to the second sales page. Now you can see payment received, but wait, your order is not yet complete. So this is step number two. So you can now sell them. Okay. You have purchased this beautiful dress for your Valentine's day. And at the same time, you might be interested in ultimate accessories for Valentine's day. So, so the objective here is offer them the secondary product that reciprocates or that fulfills the same objective for which they have purchased your first product. So they have purchased your first uh, this uh, Valentine beautiful dress if they have purchased the dress. So their objective is to look special, look beautiful, uh, wear red type of or red theme dress on the particular Valentine day. So this is their objective and we have created a need and desire and they have purchased the product, they have shown interest. So show them the second offer, <coughs> excuse me, second offer, okay. You have purchased dress, beautiful. Now you can also have accessories that will help you look more beautiful with the uh, dress that you have purchased. So, excuse me. 
so you can offer them ultimate accessories so again they can buy or they can simply reject your offer and then they can move forward to another step so here are the multiple accessories that they will get and you can see that uh, the price is uh, 1500 but you will get at a discounted price and if customer is interested they will buy and if they are not interested they will again uh, click on the thank you don't want to look more beautiful now this is again a very bold statement that will encourage them to buy a product so now let's assume if they don't buy the product they will go to the third offer and even if they buy your product they will go to the third offer so the third and final offer is whether they purchase or not the third offer is okay you purchase the valentine's dress and you also purchase the accessories kit now there is another thing left that is the makeup kit so ultimate makeup kit that is the all-in-one uh, makeup kit that will help you look more beautiful on this valentine's day so this is your offer and <clears throat> even if they have not purchased the accessories they might have the accessories but they might not have the uh, this uh, makeup kit so maybe they they will buy your first product and they will reject your second product and maybe they might purchase your third product so this is the ultimate makeup kit and these are the uh, features that we have on this sales page and if they purchase they will go to the thank you page that is the order confirmation page and if they don't purchase they will again go to the thank you page so your order is complete so this is the uh, this is the basic uh, sales funnel that is different from the landing page or lead funnel on lead funnel we try to capture uh, leads information and where the nurturing is required to close the sales or to sell the product but in e-commerce product where customer can directly purchase your products if you are into that uh, specifically into b2c model uh, you can create uh, multiple upsells and cross sells so that you can increase the lifetime value of the customer you can increase the roi on your uh, marketing campaigns and at the same time uh, you can leverage the automation software that you have purchased i don't know why i'm <laughs> getting this so uh, this is our strategy for uh, for what we say and at the same time we have to configure our forms and we have to integrate the payment gateway with our uh, with our sales pages so that if the payment is successful then two things should happen they should be added to a particular form in the automation and then you can add them to the segment and uh, email series campaign etc and at the same time they should be redirected to the other page so for that we need to go to marketing automation software and we need to configure our payment gateway that is you need to add your insta mojo or paypal id and once you configure that then you can start creating pages so i have already created the four pages uh, that i just shown you and in the next session i'll be focusing on how to create forms for this how to create uh, payment links for this and how to uh, integrate uh, the complete sales funnel so see you in the next session